To begin, click the Print Setup window. Select your printer model, image configuration, and physical connection. Don't forget to mirror your image. Mirroring is necessary when dye sublimating because of the additional mirroring that results from the transfer process. Open your image in Wasatch. Wasatch allows you to lay out multiple images at once and using the smart nesting tool you can create a layout that fits your needs best. When you are satisfied with your layout, click Rip and Print. For this example, we are going to dye sublimate onto a white shirt. Now it's time to begin pressing. We are using the tacky adhesive coated transfer paper for this example. At our facilities in Utah, which is a dry and semi-arid desert climate, we have our pressure set to 70 PSI and the press temperature to 392 degrees. Remember that the heating temperature, press time, and pressure are subject to change based on your geographical location and the substrate you are pressing on. Place a piece of butcher paper on the press to prevent ink from transferring onto your press. The first step is to pre-press your shirt. This will remove any moisture and adjust for possible shrinking of the fabric. Place your shirt on the heat press and use a lint roller to remove any lint or debris from the manufacturing and shipping that will become more pronounced during sublimation. Once the pre-press is complete, place the transfer paper down onto the shirt and press. After the pressing is complete, remove the shirt and transfer paper from the press. Remove the transfer paper from the fabric. Congratulations! You have successfully dye sublimated onto a shirt.